Hi, Mark Gordon on Wednesday, January the 18th, 2012, uh, with the Gold, Silver, and Spider Report. This is the GLD, the Exchange Traded Fund for Gold, and uh, lots of improvements have happened. Uh, we came up off the bottom here that we made in late December, 148.27, bounced up off of that, and have cleared some key moving averages, um, including this black dotted line, which is the 200-day moving average. This is a daily chart, and we have uh, had six days of closes over that line. So solidly uh, closing above this line for more than a week of trading sessions is a good sign here. Now, you'll notice the blue line here, the 50-day moving average, is just up ahead at 162.83, 162.83. We got to a high of 161.64 today, so we're about a point away from that. And uh, that might offer a little bit of overhead resistance. And just above that is this overhead trend line here at about the 163 level. So we have some overhead resistance to get through uh, uh, just up ahead. And also this green dotted line, the 100-day moving average, is at 165.50. So um, still have some work to do on the GLD. Um, certainly breaking this uh, blue dotted line, this overhead trend line, would be a key uh, moment, which would bring more uh, bullish investors into the market. And certainly starting to close over the 100-day moving average uh, would mean that we have cleared all the key moving averages and would certainly uh, make the bulls feel a lot better. Uh, if we scroll down here to some of the indicators, uh, I call them secondary indicators. Um, down here is the MACD, the moving average uh, convergence divergence indicator that a lot of traders look at. That crossed early in 2012 to the upside. So that's in an uptrend. So that's real good there. And also when we look at stochastics down here, uh, they are currently, uh, the red line's at 89.75 and the black line's at 91.13. So anytime you get um, the stochastics over 80, uh, it's said to be oversold unless it remains up there for over three days in a row, which means that stochastics are embedded. And when we have embedded stochastics, that means that, that we can run higher. So uh, there you have it. Uh, gold uh, looking uh, to uh, keep its advance going uh, if it gets through, certainly above through this overhead resistance here. And we look at the GLD on a weekly chart, we can see the progress that we've made. Uh, here's the bottom we made in late December, 148.27, bouncing up. We're in the fourth week of this advance here, clearing the overhead trend line here on the weekly chart. So a good sign there, and clearing the 10-week moving average uh, on the weekly chart. So great sign there. The next uh, point of uh, overhead resistance will come in at the 20-week moving average 164 at $164. So uh, weekly chart, which a lot of investors, uh, your longer term bigger investors look at, is looking very strong here. Love to see it get up uh, and test this 20-week uh, uh, moving average and break through that. And then uh, it would give us uh, a chance to come back up here and challenge first the 170.80 and then the 175.46. So gold got a little more work to do to the uh, uh, getting through some moving averages to the upside, uh, but uh, certainly this uh, this four-week rally is very very welcome. And taking a look at silver now, this is the SLV. Uh, been a good year so far for silver in 2012. Um, we had a couple of waves here, uh, moving to the upside here, clearing this red line, the 21-day moving average. You can see the gray line, the 10-day, has crossed over the 21-day. Nice little bullish sign for the short-term traders. And uh, coming up overhead is the 50-day moving average. Uh, that'll be uh, our first real challenge here, and that's coming in at about uh, $30.28 right now. Um, notice down here that we have not had any really big volume. But uh, today's action up uh, over 1.5% on a pickup in volume is a welcome sign. So silver looking strong in 2012. Now when we go to a weekly chart of the SLV, we can see that silver has done some good work here. Uh, coming through uh, this uh, overhead resistance line here at about the $29 level. And then um, today uh, getting uh, right at or, or a little bit above the 10-week moving average. Um, we actually closed at 29.65, and the 10-week is at 29.50, so closing just a little bit above that. Great, great work today uh, for silver, up almost 3% for the week. Um, you notice here that we have the 20-week moving average uh, up ahead at 31.35. 
and then up above that will be our 40 week at 3458. So silver making a nice advance here uh, in 2012, but coming up uh, against some uh, overhead resistance here. But I like the action so far. And moving on to stocks now, this is the SPY, the uh, exchange traded fund for the S&P 500 uh, big cap stocks. And today was a good day, up 1.11% uh, on a pickup in volume. Um, <clears throat> have not had any really uh, heavy volume in the last uh, several weeks here, but it's nice to see a pickup in volume here as we get support at this gray line, the 10-day moving average. So nice little advance here, coming up up from 120 uh, and now uh, getting up to 130. Um, so um, uh, we are above all the key moving averages right now, um, up above the 50-day, and here this red line is the 21-day, and of course the uh, gray line is the 10-day. And here is your 100-day, uh, which is the green dotted line, and your black dotted line, the 200-day. So above all the key moving averages, broke out of this triangle formation here back in December, had a few closes right on it, uh, about a week of closes near it and on it, and then broke out on a big gap here, and a couple little waves up and moving higher. So stocks looking strong in 2012. And flipping now to a weekly chart of the uh, S&P 500, we can see this nice advance here. Um, about a five-week advance here. Had a big week back here five weeks ago. Uh, coming up to the upper end of this flag formation and then uh, pulling back a bit, getting support down here at the 40-week moving average, this black line. And then nice uh, advance here for the last uh, three or four weeks. So moving higher, no real resistance uh, other than um, up here at 134.15 will be the previous high here. So stocks looking good in 2012. And uh, gold and silver also looking strong. So uh, all this stimulus money uh, is, uh, is fueling the economy and fueling stocks in the precious metals. And uh, the, uh, the real uh, uh, damage could be done in uh, the currencies, though. Uh, because as you print money, there's no there's no free lunches. So, um, but uh, uh, so far so good for stocks and and the metals. So, <clears throat> so that's it for now. I invite you to subscribe to our channel and to check out uh, goldenticker.com. Thank you very much.